new images of the interstellar object, the comet Borisov. And also, solar wind could graze us here on Earth in a few days, September 17. This is space weather latest news. Let's start with the uh, sun, the solar flare, the solar wind flowing from a southern hole in the sun's atmosphere. The astronomers tell us that they could graze our Earth's magnetic field September 17th. The Arctic sky watchers should be alert for auroras mixed with gibbous, gibbous moonlight where the gaseous material arrives. This is according to Aurora Alerts. Solar minimum is here, but even now, strangely beautiful auroras are dancing around the poles. Deep inside the Arctic Circle, the experts' guides of Aurora Holidays in Utsgochi, Finland, couldn't help you chase them and see you. They have special tours for this. Now, concerning the uh, X-ray, no, well, okay, solar wind is four, It's pretty fast, it's 451.1 kilometers per second. X-ray solar flares, 6 hours maximum, A6, 24 hour A7, September 14th, both today. But let's go to the very unsettling, in my mind, I'm not an astronomer, but I don't like it when interstellar comets come in at us from out of nowhere from other solar systems. Okay, so this is the image of Comet Borisov. It's definitely a comet from what the astronomers are telling us. It's a comet. It's not a extra it's not an extraterrestrial spaceship. As some people uh believed that the last one that came by us uh could have been. Now this one is the second one in three years. New color images from the Gemini telescope atop Hawaii's Mauna Kea volcano shows that the Borisov comet, it's C2019Q4, has a tail. Quote, we really had to scramble for this one since we got the final details 3 a.m. September 9th and we were observing it by 4.45. This is what Andrew Stevens of the Gemini Observatory who coordinated the observations said. So they were on it fast enough and about an hour and uh, three quarters later they got their images observing it. There are thousands of comets in our solar system but this one is special because it is interstellar. It's not from our solar system. So what's it doing here? How did it get here? It's got a very strange orbital path. It's uh, elliptical, coming out of somewhere else. The newly discovered comet is following a hyperbolic orbit, hyperbolic, with an eccentricity greater than 3.7. This means it is unbound to the Sun. Indeed, Comet Borisov is moving at 68,700 miles per hour, that's 30.7 kilometers per second, 68, almost almost 70,000 miles per hour, and it's too fast for the sun's gravity to hang on to it. It must have come from the stars, they said. This is the first time an interstellar visitor to our solar system has clearly shown a tail due to outgassing. The only other interstellar visitor was, as we know, Actually, I said three years. It's actually one or two years. It was Oumuamua in 2017, 2018. It was that cigar-shaped object with no visible comet-like emissions. So it could be that these bodies have different makeups of material that they're made of. Some may have gases or they may have ice, uh, which is uh, somehow... Uh, melted and gassed off by the sun's rays as it's uh, heating up a little bit with the Yarkovsky effect. That's one thing we've all learned about since that uh, asteroid that was supposed to pass us beyond the moon came careening into us at the uh, Caribbean Sea. We've all learned about the solar rays heating the asteroids or the celestial body's surface therefore causing a temperature differential and causing it to spin on its axis and also come careening out of its trajectory 
And that's how that, that asteroid that was supposed to pass us very safely beyond the moon into oblivion of space, instead of doing that, came careening into the, sun, the, the Caribbean Ocean. So, things like that happen. So what is this thing doing here at us? The 2017-18 Oumuamua was a cigar-shaped object, no comet emissions, and people even thought that the one Harvard professor even said that it could be a solar sail and uh, uh, in, uh, a, uh, an ET UFO. Now, because Comet Borisov is still just entering our solar system, so that's good, they, they'll have time to examine it this way, astronomers will have plenty of time to study it on the months ahead, in the months ahead. Is it truly interstellar? What are comets from other solar systems made of? Answers to these and many other questions are forthcoming. And my, uh, my question is, what is it doing here from another solar system? How did it get here? And also, we have to also say that Borisov is an amateur astronomer from Crimea, and it was he, that's why it's got it's his name. He was the one that discovered it, and hence it has the name Comet Borisov. So, meanwhile, if you are skilled, an, a skilled animal astronomer and wish to observe Comet Borisov, you may find orbital elements for pointing your telescope here at the link there. Got a picture? Please submit it to our photo gallery, it says. Also, again, I have to tell you, if you are amateur astronomer, you don't even have to be an amateur astronomer. If you want to help NASA and other space agencies by examining their images, they need eyes. They need people that can give a couple of hours a week to help them examine images. They have so many thousands of images to take every day, they can't possibly have enough employees to do this. And their uh, AI, their artificial intelligence uh, technology, cannot do this. They can't pick, the AI cannot pick up anything uh, close to what a human eye can pick up. And they need human eyes, they need people to volunteer. And they have found celestial objects. And this is very important work, you know, it's planetary defense, really. It's just a matter of time of when. It's not if it's going to happen, it will happen, it's just a matter of time when we could be impacted. Anyway, now that they've just started to examine this, I'm sure we're going to have much more information coming in on this, uh, because perhaps it can tell us where it's coming from. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece. 
in Capotá. And we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.